As you can hear from the background racket, I'm at a trade fair and the trade fair hasn't begun yet. In fact, it won't be beginning for an hour or so. People are now in a panic to get their uh, stands sorted out because they should have had it done by now. This one here, PLA, has been done and this allows me uh, now to show you uh, the uh, this Siena model overcab uh, van without too much racket here. Uh, this thing here is seven meters in length. It costs 50,000 euros and uh, it's on Citroen Jumper or Fiat Ducato. I think the Fiat Ducato will cost a bit more. This is the 440. Made in Italy, no thrills. Right, overcab model. Yeah, I'll take you to the back. Double uh, bed here. Window only in one side. But the storage is quite good. Up here, anyway. There's also a ledge. And it's holding in place. When I get on the roof, you do it via there. I get on the roof all the time. And my van. You've got a mirror here. You've also got on the side a wardrobe. I would open if I could, but I can't. So we have to, uh, we'll have to believe there is a wardrobe here. Let me get another go. I can't. No, sorry, I can. I'm not using the force. I like to be delicate on these things as much as possible. There's so much gets broken. Mainly by me. Oh, talking of so much getting broken there. <laughs> That's, uh, there. Well, that, that, that's uh, you can see into the garage. We'll see if we can see from outside. Um, these steps, I think, are quite good actually because obviously the, the, the space isn't being wasted. You can stick some stuff down there. This one, however, here has got a ledge like that. Don't really need a duckboard in a van like this, as you when you use the toilet, you're not trailing through the wet shower. All the same, I suppose it's nice to have one. Another thing it's nice to have, of course, next to nothing, is that thing up there for your socks to dry on. Once you've washed them in the evening, if you do that. And people sort of say, I, I, I you know, talk a lot about um, storage. The thing is, this is what beats me. People think they don't need storage. Is, I mean, how often do they tend to change their clothes? A drawer full of socks mightn't seem like a lot, but I mean, how many socks can you get in it? So you've got 40 pairs of socks. Well, that'll do you for six weeks, won't it? What if you're going to be staying longer? Do you really want to be spending all your time uh, at the laundrette? If you can find one, if you're in the middle of nowhere. Right, this thing here lifts up like that. I like that because it gives more room uh, when you're driving up here. I don't like the bench though at all. And there's a six meter model, which I'll show you as well. And effectively that extra meter is just that bench there, which uh, I really can't see uh, the point of. There you go, big fridge, big fat fridge. I remember when I lived in Sicily and uh, on, on the weekend you get all people from the large town nearby, 60 kilometers or so away, and they would, oh, I'm stuck as well, okay, we'll have to do with that one. Anyway, they turn up in there, you have a, a good selection of like 1980s um, camper van, mo camper vans and motorhomes from Italy. There's hardly anything there was new. Certainly is a problem with here with the uh, with the openings. Um, the so right. Let's go up and have a look at the other one. As you come out, you have got here as you'd expect. Insect screen, bin in the door, window in the door, 
all pretty useful. Enormous uh, garage, which is probably closed, but if it isn't, I'll open it. It's closed, so never mind. Um, I'll show you this one here, which is a six meter van. And it's more or less the same. Except for a meter, but you see the meter is there. This is, this has been saved there. The same uh, bed, you can put it up if you want. So you can see it now in the down position with the windows, storage, everything's very similar, including this. Yeah, we'll have them in the garage from here. Won't have a look in the garage from here. This is just the storage under the bed. The garage will have to go through the next one as well. Okay, it's got a different fridge. It's got a fridge with a uh, and these pull up things at the bottom. Take you for a walk around the stand. We'll have a look at all the other vehicles they've got here. Such as this model here, which cost 53 and a half and it's the 395. It's got a funny seat here. I don't see the point of that at all. Double beds in the back, which are joinable, fat fridge. Three eight five seven hundred centimeters long, seven meter van, if I remember rightly. I do. It's fifty one thousand two hundred. It's got a really big bed at the back. Three thirty. Six meter van costing forty eight thousand four hundred. Side bed with a toilet down here. Plenty of room in the kitchen for uh, work. And the final one is this that one here, uh, 740 centimeters in length, German layout at the back, 53,000 euros. All as you may have noticed are on the Citroen. Chassis. Oh, the carpets, I didn't mention this. Uh, the, the, the carpets are here for, because it's a trade fair, uh, but uh, probably normally uh, you wouldn't want to have them in your van, you wouldn't take them. Possibly, I don't know, you might want to. Might want them. All right, queen bed at the back. And um, this is a relatively cheap option for a vehicle like this. But definitely, as you can see, it's a no thrills. Uh, that's great for sitting on the shower and uh, getting your feet clean. Okay, right, well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest. As I've filmed stacks of stuff here at, uh, I say stacks of stuff, actually, that's not entirely true. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed by the lack of filming I've been able to do. Maybe because I've now started doing this comparison uh, thing of showing one van after another uh, with from manufacturers that means films are longer and hence uh, they tend to be uh, 
there's less time for me to do things. But anyway, I think it does give you an, uh, an overall picture which may be more useful to you. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, there's a thing up the top there to subscribe, or there will be if it isn't already there. There's also a thing up there which is my link to Patreon, which uh, you also, I'd be very grateful for any support. Thanks very much.